All right, boys and girls. Week three or four, I don't know. Can't remember. This Corona year. Um, but it is Monday, September 21st. Warm-up video. Get your notebooks out. You are keeping them nice and neat and orderly. You should have a couple pages by now. More than a couple pages, right? Keep these nice and neat and orderly. So, guys, most of you, really, really proud of the work you're putting out at home. You have got to do this yourself, right? I mean, some of you got parents, you do your work, you do your work, you do your work, you do your work, grandparents, whoever, breathing down your neck and you can show them that you did it. Some of you don't have that. You gotta do it yourself, right? Hey, you got parents working eight, 12 hours a day. Don't be a pain in the butt, right? Don't make any more stress on their lives. Do your dang on work. This is your job, right? You gotta give me some effort here. Some of y'all are waiting until the next day to do it. I talk to you on the live chats, the live meets, and you haven't done your work. It's a pain in the butt. You sh when we talk on those live meets, you should have your work done till then. Don't say, I'm gonna do it after today or whatever, all right? Anyhow, get your work done. Get your work done. I know for a fact I am not putting too much work out there, right? We are taking this super slow. We would probably, if we were in class, we'd already had a quiz on this right now. But now I'm thinking about having a quiz on Thursday. But I need you all to focus this week, right? Focus. All right. Long weekend. Back to negative exponents. This warm-up is one question. Come on, is that too much to ask? It's about negative exponents. All negative exponents are is learning how to write numbers different ways. Same number written a different way. So here I have 10 to the negative 2 power. I want you to circle which of these six are the same as this number just written a different way. Alright? So once you get the question down, pause the video. Don't wait for me to do it, guys. Don't wait for me to do it. And I can tell who's been doing their warm-ups and who hasn't. Several of you, Zane, and, and I don't know, I'm not going to name names, but several of you are kicking butt because you're doing exactly what I need to say. And then some of you are skipping steps, and you got zeros on those practice questions. That tells me you're not doing your warm-ups, following the steps. We'll do the warm-up, do the question together. So pull, write the question down, push pause. When you're done with the question, start it, and we'll do it together. All right. If you're not done, push pause. If you are done, here we go. Today's warm-up, Monday. Circle all that are equal to this number, 10 to the negative 2. All right, first one is the fraction. Well, I know it's got to have two zeros in it. That one's got three. This is no good. It's got three zeros in it. It is no good. This one is 10 to the negative 2 the same as 1 over 10 squared? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. That line right there takes the place of that. That's what that turn ends to. You can never ever have a negative on the bottom. So this one we should circle. This number and this number are the same. All right, let's look over here. We're looking for two zeros and a decimal. We've got two zeros, but we got a two on the end. Never, ever, ever. Anything but a one, right? Anything but a one. This is no good. We should have, this is two hundredths. And we have one one hundred. Right? All right. Let's look at this one. Ten to the negative two. Uh-oh. Big red flag here. Big red flag. You can never, ever, ever have a negative sign on the bottom in, a, in an exponent. Not in seventh grade. Never, ever, ever. All right? Gone. This one, we're looking for two zeros. We got two zeros. We got a one. But, uh-oh. There's a negative sign. There's a negative sign. This is not a negative number. This is a number between 0 and positive 1. So this is not negative. No good. Last but not least, the fraction. We're looking for two zeros. Yes. Two zeros. One one hundredth. We should have circled that. So there were two right answers here. Hopefully you all can see that down there. There were two right answers and four wrong answers. And look at this. If we do 1 over 10 squared, that's 10 times 10, right? 10 times 10 is 100. 
So that's 1 over 100. The same as that number, right? Same as that number. All we're learning, guys, is to write numbers different ways, all right? Peace out. Peace out. Tell them more. Do your practice questions. Four practice questions on this. If it all goes good, we're going to take a quiz on Thursday. All right. We're going to keep practicing. Bye.